Okay, so I ran away when I was 14, 15 years old. And I came in Amsterdam at the central station. And I was picked up by a man who gave me uh, food and a house to stay. And I went with him because I didn't have another place to go. I was so naive, I believed I could find a job, I could find work, people to help me. They pick up uh, boys who are coming from abroad to the big cities. Uh, they pick them up at the stations. Uh, there are guys who are very clever, who see he's coming, he has nothing to do. They, they, uh, they, ask, they speak to him and they say, do you, you're, uh, you're looking for a place to sleep? You can come with me, you can sleep. And then they gave them uh, alcohol, they gave them drugs. The day after I woke up, I found myself without clothes. And uh, he made some pictures of me. And uh, uh, I said, what are you going to do with the pictures? Yeah, I will send them to your parents if you don't want to work for us. And I said, what kind of work? He told me about uh, these brothels uh, where young boys work. And I said, I don't want to do it. And then uh, they forced me into this business. They cannot go back home. It, it, it's, it's impossible. Because they have to stay uh, at that place by these guys. I couldn't leave. Uh, and the simple reason, they blackmailed me with these photos, with this kinder porn, this, this child pornography that I was used for. I was naive. I was scared. It can go on because it's very good organized. Uh, and there's always people who are running away from home and going to the big, big city. It's, it's, it's all around going on. In these brothels there worked young boys from 14 until 18. I worked with seven, eight boys uh, my age for 15 years. They were also involved in a network, that's for sure. An international network of pedophiles smuggling boys in from Poland, Germany, Czech Republic. Uh, Austria, UK, to work in these brothels in, uh, in the Netherlands, and especially Amsterdam. And he was for four years uh, used as a young prostitute. And still he is suffering a lot about what happened to him then. And that's why he came to me to see if I could help him. I was too naive and too shy and afraid that something would happen if I went uh, away or ran away from this brothel. When I worked in the brothels, most of them were pedophiles who were looking for have sex with young boys. And he was sent to customers or the customers came to the brothel. He was sent to parties where children were really abused with real SM techniques, young kids. When I used to work in these brothels, it was very obvious to other people that I was a minor, younger than 18 years old. I looked 14, 15 years old. I really suffered and uh, sometimes had a hard time to survive uh, because you work and sleep on the same bed. Uh, they give them more drugs, uh, more alcohol, they make movies of them and then it's the problem for the guys when they want to uh, run away uh, to, to go back home. Uh, they cannot be back home b before they can be blackmailed with their families. Yeah, I was actually three times filmed in a movie. Uh, two were made in uh, Amsterdam and one is made in uh, the Aimhof in Zeewolde. And the movie was made also with 14, 15, 16 year old boys. The, they drogate them and, and after that they blackmail them and that is a, a, a psychology uh, slave. Uh, I also had uh, seen and meet people who made snuff movies. Snuff movie is a movie where uh, several boys or one boy uh, get sexually abused and murdered at the end of the movie. Uh, they asked me to play in one of these movies for a lot of money and I refused because I knew from other boys that it uh, can be very bad for you because you don't survive it. The customers of those used barrels are not the normal uh, people you, you think about uh, walking in the night and uh, entering those brothels, but among them were high-level politicians, um, members of the prosecution office, and high uh, politicians. So people with high status in, in Dutch society. <laughs> Thank you.
I was in the festival bar working there uh, in my youth when I was 14, 15 years old. And uh, I met uh, people there who are, who are pedophiles. I had uh, contact with uh, Professor Van Roon when I was uh, 15 years old. He was a professor at the University of Amsterdam. And he was actually the center of this whole Rolodex investigation because <clears throat> he had all the numbers of high level politicians, uh, 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 lawyers, juridical officials and so on. And he was actually the go-between, the mediator between the brothel and the high level customers. When I met uh, Professor Varon at the festival bar in Amsterdam, and uh, he introduced me to a man who was sitting in a car with a driver. In the car, I also introduced myself. He introduced himself as Joris. When I first met Demick, he asked me for my age and I said to him, I was 15 years old. Joris Demick asked me to have anal sex and he really wanted to force me to do that. He was sent by Professor Van Roon to a car with a chauffeur and a man in it named Joris. That this man, and, uh, of which later said I recognize him as being Mr. Deming. Uh, well, the uh, private driver was driving. Uh, he wanted to have oral sex. Deming never came out of the car. He uh, always stayed in the car because he don't want to be seen in those places. He was a very high. Uh, level person and that was the reason he didn't want to go into these bars where all these young uh, uh, boys worked and where all these pedophiles uh, uh, came together. The second time I was with Deming it was also in his car and then he wanted to drive to the Hague to this house to have anal sex with me. Key witness in a very quick, a very big investigation, and that's the first time I realized that that was Joris Deming. In Amsterdam, there was an investigation in to the brothels where uh, was victim of, and it stopped at the moment that they reached at the suspect, Mr. Deming. Uh, I was contacted by two detectives of the Dutch government. Uh, who were busy with an investigation for uh, pedophiles in Holland. They heard about me and they found out that I knew a lot about the child prostitution and child pornography here in Amsterdam and around Amsterdam. I was with Van Roon in Polen where he had contacts. I refused a few times because I don't want to get any trouble or worse, a bullet in my head. When I was in the Hague bicycling to my uh, soccer team, people shot three times at me. That they never did something with his story, which he told open and honestly to the police, he was again traumatized, the second time traumatized and feeling powerless. Professor Varon was uh, a kind of broker. Uh, he had a Rolodex with several names in it. And, in the, and also in these names, there were high level people from the Netherlands. 